Science can be pretty complicated to teach in school, but making a science project at home can be fun and educational. Well, we're lucky we have scientists here. Our meteorologists know what can make for a good project. Here's Chief Meteorologist Christy Henderson. All right, yes, yeah, back to school weather week continues. Meteorologist Dan Bickford shows us some fun science project ideas that can pique the interest of your child. Well, with school starting shortly for many students, a lot of kids are going to have an interest in science, or maybe parents want to teach them a little bit about science. What we're going to do is show you a couple of projects that can foster that interest along. These are projects that are very simple, and a couple of them have to do with weather anyway. We are in the weather lab, and I've got the weather lab coat, but you may notice this looks an awful lot like a kitchen. The reason for that is because most of the ingredients we're going to use, you can typically find in a kitchen. The tools for this one are very easy. Just start off with a couple of empty two liter bottles. Fill one two thirds full of water. Add food coloring or glitter to make it easier to see once it swirls. Take the other bottle and attach them together with duct tape. Then all you have to do is flip it over, give it a little bit of rotation as you do so, and you have, looking at the top here, the tornado in a bottle. Our second experiment is going to show densities of liquid. We talk about densities of air all the time, and the atmosphere acts very much like water, in that cold will sink and hot will rise. To do this, you'll need a glass dish or bowl, a piece of cardboard that you can fit into the dish, a cup of cold water with some blue food coloring, and a cup of hot water with some red food coloring. Wedge the cardboard into the dish. Pour the cold water on one side, the hot on the other. Don't worry if a little water gets around your cardboard wall. Pull the cardboard out and let the colors swirl together. Give it some time and the blue cold water should sink with the hot red water rising. If everything comes up purple, the water temperatures were too close to each other. And I've saved the messiest one for last. This one is going to be less meteorology, less weather, a little bit more eruptive, a little bit more geology. We're talking a volcano and how you can make one of those build your own volcanoes. Now, we're not going to do the paper mache mountain or anything. I'm going to do the inside part of that, the part that makes everything erupt. Get a two liter bottle, two cups of white vinegar, half a cup of baking soda, half a cup of water, a little red food coloring, and a little squeeze of light colored dish soap. Mix the baking soda and water together in a bowl or large cup. Pour the vinegar into the two liter bottle. Add a few drops of food coloring and a tiny bit of dish soap. A little will go a long way. Pour the baking soda mixture into the bottle. Be sure to have some towels on hand. This is going to make a mess. Three simple projects that may open the door to learning more about why things happen in nature. In the Weather Lab, meteorologist Dan Bickford, 7 News.